Rock Climbing Grandma here. In this video, I'm going to show you some different holds that you'll find in a rock climbing gym. Come on with me, I'm going to show you a couple things. It might be useful. So behind me is a bouldering wall. A bouldering wall is a wall you climb without ropes. You can jump off of it or climb down and be safe. So today I'm gonna to go through different types of holds and how to best use those to help you get up a wall. All right, here we are at the wall with all the examples of the types of holds that you will find in a rock gym. Let's find out what they are. This is a jug. This is a large uncut hold usually found on climbs of an easier grade. <laughs> this is a sloper. Oh, sloping right down. This is a pinch. Pinch, pinch. This is a crimp. Oh, trying to hold on to this bad boy is so hard. This is a pocket. Very hard to get your fingers in pockets. Sometimes you have to use only one finger or two. This is sort of a crimp and slope. Just crazy, another hard stuff to do. Yeah. So here you can see, this is called a jug. I can really take my fingers, right? Get them all the way around all on top of this. And my fingers are really inside, so I can really get a good grip on this. So one of the things that new climbers tend to do is they tend to really over grip. You're scared, you don't want to fall off the wall, and you really hold on to this really tight. But a really good thing to do is to actually hang from your fingers a little more and use your thumb less. Your thumb can be there for stability or a little extra bit of help, but it's best to start getting used to being able to hold on to things and hang from those fingers. The stronger your hands are, the better climber you'll be. This wall is a pinchy wall. It's got some holds on it. They're fairly pinchy. So take a look up here. You can see this is flat going across and you kind of really have to get your fingers on the top and the bottom and squeeze. And you're gonna need to really hold on to that with your thumb. It's like a vice grip. The other thing that this wall has is sort of a slopey thing at the top. So if you take a look up here, I was just pinching on this one right here. Now I'm placing my hand up here. Now this has got a little more slopey on top. So what you have to do is kind of get your hand on top and get as much purchase as you can. You can use your thumb, but a lot of the way that you're staying on this wall is you are literally just placing your hand where you can get the best, best grip and the most skin you can so that you can um, stay on that. Here is an example of how to stay on a slopey piece. So the piece right behind me right here, underneath is a pincher, right? So you can pinch that. And then above that is a sloper. You would get as much purchase with all of your skin on the top as you can in order to stay on it. But you also want to think about where is my body weight? They're putting up new walls at the gym, so there's lots of drill sounds. In there. There's filming happening, dude. You need to stop. All right. So, if while you're holding onto that, you pull your body back, you're going to come off of the wall. All of your weight's going to pull you off because now your hands are slipping off the wall. But if you get under your hold, under your sloper, where you're on top of it and all your body weight is going straight down or even sort of at a diagonal towards it, then you're more likely to stay on that hold. Here are some crimps behind me. So here is an example of a crimp and this crimp is very flat. Well, you have barely any positive here. It's also sideways, so if you're going to do this sideways, you have to make sure that your weight is gonna be on the other side so you get the best pull as possible to get up this climb. It also requires a lot of finger strength. It's not a beginner thing to do. Definitely something that you wanna work up to so that you don't have any finger injuries. You can see the next one on this wall also is another one. There's no positive area there. It's all flat, it's just completely flat. You have to be able to hold on to that to get to the next bit. Now, the direction of the hold is also very important. Okay, so on the purple climb behind me, you'll see I have to switch my weight from one side to the other on those two. Oh, hello. Well, there's people in the gym getting in my footage. What happened? I should come back when it's closed. See those two purple ones right there? 
So one of them, you put your hand on this side, so your body should be on the other side over here. While this one, the pull is this way, so you would want to be on this side when you're on that one. So let me give you an example as I climb that. So we learned a little bit about all the different types of holes in a gym Hello. and how to use them. So I hope that this helps you and if it helps you, please consider subscribing. Please like the video if you liked it and consider also ringing the bell for notifications for the next video that I have coming up. I will be uh, putting up some more how-to videos for how to climb for beginners or even some intermediate climbers. So I hope you enjoyed today and uh, talk to you soon. Bye. All right, here's an example of a wall. Why do you have to do this while I'm filming? Just, could you stop for a little extra bit? Okay, so here is me. How to stay on a slot. If you ring the bell, then you'll know when my next episode, my next. You ring the bell, <laughs> you'll know when my next Turn on your notifications. You turn on. <laughs> ring the bell for notifications. <laughs> Thank God I have editing. <laughs>